Hey guys, what's up? It's Max. In this video, we're going to talk about the true power of the Celestial Guardians, which I dubbed the Banana Guards a long time ago. I don't remember why I called them that, but since they showed up, I call them Banana Guards. Anyway, recently, I researched what the real power of these guards is, and to my surprise, I didn't see anything talking about the real power of these guys. The most I could find were theories saying that they might or might not surpass angels. With all this lack of information, I thought it was impossible to know the real power of the Banana Guards, but anyone who knows this channel knows that I always try to look for the official answer using real arguments to answer any questions about Dragon Ball. Every detail is important. That's exactly what I did. I rewatched every episode where Zeno's guards appeared to draw a final conclusion. And yes, I've arrived at an official answer. So if you want to know what the true power of Zeno's guards is, subscribe to the channel and help me reach 50,000 subscribers. Here, I answer all the biggest questions about the anime and I still bring the best curiosities and analysis about Dragon Ball. So if you like Dragon Ball, use just two seconds of your life and help me reach 50,000 subscribers. I'm counting on you guys. Stay connected to the channel and let's go to the video. The Banana Guards first appeared at the end of episode 40 of the anime and had a major highlight in episode 41. In this episode, some things became clear, the first of which is that they protect Zeno from any danger, so they need to be very strong to protect the almighty Zeno. We can also see that they're quite strong when Goku tries to approach him. The guards seemingly manipulate reality by disappearing into the ground and reappearing in front of Goku to stop him from advancing. With that, we found that these guards, even watching the fight of Goku versus Hit, didn't feel threatened by Goku's power using the Kaioken. That means that these guards were more powerful than Goku was at that moment. Uh, uh, hey, I just want to talk. Please, just a quick little chat. We can say that the guards are at least above mortals. And before we compare the guards with the angels and the gods, it's good to remember that in Dragon Ball, the fighting power is the sum of all the attributes of a character, like strength, speed, destructive power, stamina, and all that. We can say that fighting power is measured by ki, which is the result of the character's total power. We also have to remember that according to Vegeta in the Frieza saga, a warrior's power level and speed go together. So the more fighting power, the more speed as well. That's the logic of Dragon Ball. Really? <laughs> so that was it then. I have to say, even for you, that was a pretty dismal move. No, no it can't be! If there was brain one in that head of yours, you'd have realized my speed is increased as well. <laughs> so knowing what a warrior's speed is along with fighting power, we can tell who is more powerful, an angel or a banana guard. For that, we just put a distance for an angel and a guard to travel. Whoever arrives in the shortest time wins the competition of who is most powerful. But how are we going to do that? Well, according to Zeno's words, he watched the 6th and 7th universes tournament and he probably watched from the first to the last fight. He only went there to scold Champa and Beerus because he learned that some gods were holding an event without his permission. An interesting detail is that he found out about the tournament, so it's obvious that someone told or showed him about this event. Like I said, I was coming here to warn you, but then I was watching and it was so fun. Other people who knew about this tournament were the Supreme Kais. They weren't called, but they knew and attended the place. Yo! With this, we can conclude that there was something that was showing the event to everyone. Everything indicates that this source would be that strange internet that the gods have. I think that because even the fights of that tournament were published on the internet. Even Gowasu was watching the fight between Goku and Hit. In short, what spread this news was the internet of the gods. Now we just need to know when these news were published on the internet. But we can be sure that this event was posted on the internet before it started. That's because the Supreme Kais showed up before the competitors took the written test. The Supreme Kais have the Kai Kai, a better type of instant transmission than Goku's. And knowing the Supreme Kais and knowing they have nothing better to do in their life, they probably decided to head to the tournament site the moment the news broke. With this, we can theorize that the news was published shortly before the Supreme Kais arrived at the tournament. Notice that when Goku and his friends arrived on the nameless planet, they weren't accompanied by any Supreme Kai. And the same for Champa's team. The Supreme Kais only appeared at the moment when Goku and his friends were about to start the written test. So that's when the event was published, 10 minutes before the fight between Botamo and Goku. I'm saying it was 10 minutes because that was the time limit to finish the written test. 
You have 10 minutes to complete the tests. Zeno may have seen this news on the internet and left his palace with his banana guard at the exact moment the Supreme Kai's made the instant transmission. But as the guard's locomotion is not instantaneous, they took a while. There's nothing to prove that Zeno didn't watch all the fights, but there's also no proof that he watched all the fights. It could be both options. But it's very possible that Zeno arrived on the Namus planet at the exact moment when a fight was going on between two participants. Because if that wasn't the case, if no one was struggling to give him some entertainment and make him stop for watch, he could certainly have interrupted the event. With all this, we can conclude that Zeno went there after seeing the event on the internet to scold Champa and Beerus. But when he got there, he saw a fight happening and found it interesting, so he waited to see until the end. If we accept the first option that he saw all the fights, it's possible that he arrived in the middle of Botamo's fight against Goku, a little more than 10 minutes after the news published on the internet. The guards left Zeno's palace and went to the nameless planet in 10 minutes. But as I said, that's not the only possibility. It's possible that Zeno watched only the final fight, the fight between Goku and Hit. In this scenario, it would be 10 minutes of the unwritten test plus the duration of all previous fights. Unfortunately, we don't know how long the tournament's fights lasted, but we do know that the Tournament of Power lasted 48 minutes, and the Tournament of Power was based on the tournament between Universes 6 and 7, so Daishinkan could have thought of that time because of the duration of the previous tournament. So it is possible that the two tournaments have the same length of time. That means they covered that distance between 10 minutes and an hour. Like I said before, to know which is stronger, a guard or an angel, we just need to find out who is faster. We know that the guards went from Zeno's palace to the nameless planet in no more than an hour. And according to Wiz, we know that an angel would take 48 hours a day to travel that route. Don't be stupid. When Grand Zeno calls for you, you don't check your damn calendar, you just go. Well, where does he live? How long does the trip take? Even for me, it takes two days each way. Two days? That's crazy! But to see this difference, we need to take into account that the Nameless Planet is not in the same place as Beerus' planet. For us to find out the difference between these locations, let's use the following information. According to the information that Wiz gave us in the anime, from Beerus' planet to Earth is 26 minutes, and to go to the Nameless Planet is 3 hours. The distance from Beerus' planet to the Nameless Planet is minus two and a half hours. The first leg of our flight will be to Lord Beerus' world. We'll meet up with my lord and Monaka and continue to the site. Travel time will be approximately three hours. With this, we conclude that Wiz from the Nameless Planet to Zeno's palace would take approximately 45 hours. So the result we have is that the Banana Guards are at least 45 times faster than Wiz. And if speed is compared to fighting power, the Guards are approximately 45 times stronger than Wiz. That's a lot of power, guys. Well, this video ends here. What do you think about all this? Did you imagine that they had such power? Let us know in the comments. If you enjoyed this video, don't forget to like and subscribe to the channel so we can get to 50,000 subscribers. Until next time, bye-bye.